Okay, so we've got all kinds of stuff going on here. This panel's showing opens on all kinds of zones. And the interesting thing is you meter the wires and they got a clean end of line, 3.9. You can even pull them out of whatever zone showing open and put in a resistor rate in it and it doesn't clear. So I was here about two weeks ago, same problem and did a firmware update and that actually cleared it up for like I said about two weeks now it's doing the same crap so we gotta change this board luckily I got the configuration when I was here so I don't need to plug the laptop in right now and pull off the program so I can basically just start changing. Uh, this place also has this junk here, this fire link thing. I don't know if you guys are familiar with these, but they're basically garbage. Um, they're in sweet horns. You plug them in to an outlet and it actually sends its tone through the the AC wiring of the building but you can imagine it's just a nightmare uh, to, for service calls people unplugging them these are the batteries in them they're pain in the ass to get this building is actually one of three buildings uh, on this site and this is the last one left with that system in it we've ripped them out all the other buildings so basically I'm just going to leave that thing running because I don't want to shut it down and boot it back up. Last thing I need is a, more problems today as it is uh, it's like 3.30 after the afternoon on a Monday. You can see this panel is a little bit messy too. Might try and clean some of that up. But again I don't want to spend too much time on this. so. It's gonna get started. So one thing I really like about Mircom, here's the new board you can see. Not just Mircom, but just removable terminal blocks in general. There's the old one. You can just unplug terminal blocks. And then slide your new board in. Plug everything in. There you go, you're not messing around with undoing all your little terminals and replugging wires and might be having to strip them and it's just a nice thing wish wish all manufacturers did that so the only difference here is your alarm supervisory and uh, trouble relays they are a little bit different you can still plug these in but I think I'm gonna use the new ones anyway because the way they oriented them in the new way compared to the older panel is a little bit better so I'll just switch these ones out you can see with the outputs one easy way to keep track if you're gonna do it this way just put a little sharpie mark one for one two for two three for three and then for the fire link oh, was already labeled so I knew that was in four and there's, again, why I'm not shutting the fire link off, because that's the only connection uh, to the main board. There's no programming or anything. It just sends the output to an input on there, and then that lights up all these little horns in the apartments. Anyway, I'm going to switch these terminals. And I think because we got the big, the big tub here, we got lots of room. And I'm gonna replace some of these boards. Unfortunately, I can't do them all because I only had two, but we're replacing two, probably this one. And one of these up here. I might reorient it, them because you can see, I don't think there's much slack on this. And I 
just looks ridiculous. So we'll see what we can do. Try and clean it up. Okay, so put the two two new ones in, and I moved the one that was up here down here. Um, cleaned it up a little bit. I wanted to move this one too to, you know, stop this crap over to here. But uh, fortunately, this wire here isn't long enough. It's not long enough, so. We can only do what we can do. Might throw a couple of zip ties. I'm all done. Just sort of tighten it up a little bit. Got all our connections set up. Don't have the batteries plugged in yet, but still got the uh, outputs unplugged back there. Gonna fire it up. Okay, moment of truth. Let's hope we don't get any smoke. Okay. Good sign. Alright, we'll let it boot up and get the laptop out. Okay, we got the configurator open. And connect to the panel and see if we can actually connect. Uh, so this is actually the last last job I had open. Oh, first try. Sure, update the time. New version. So we're going to call it uh, load configuration onto. Yeah, I just want to basically just give a quick brief comment of what you're doing. Alrighty. So, go up here. Send. And we'll let it do its thing. Okay, so we're, we're all back to normal. Put a couple zip ties just to kind of keep everything up. This thing was all, this ribbon cable was zip tied and it got a little twisted. I don't like zip tying these. It's not good to, to twist these up. So I just have that kind of sitting up there. Doesn't look too bad. Still, it's not the greatest, but we're not here to rewire the panel we're just here to replace and get her working so we're all back to normal just gonna do some basic tests to make sure it's working right and then we can clean some of this crap up get out of here okay so far so good tested a couple of alarms LEDs are matching uh, we did a supervisory, actually a couple of those, those are working, there's no LED for those, our bypasses are working, relays, uh, I believe there's, there's some elevator recall here, there's I think a fan shut down, uh, signal bypass is working, 
We've checked our monitoring's going through. Zone one's fire alarm. Let's see. Three is trouble. Okay, we haven't got a supervisor yet, actually, so I guess we'll take a look at that. And we gotta go look at the annunciator. Other than that, though, things are looking good. Alright, so we've done, done as much testing as we need to do. Got the supervisory figured out. I just had it wired wrong on the, the relay contact. So that's working for the monitoring panel over there. Went and checked the enunciator, it's working. Uh, it actually does have the LEDs on it for the sprinkler supervisory zones, so check those out, they're working. Uh, I think we're good to go, just gonna pack up and we can flush this toilet. <laughs>